Yo guys, welcome back to a new PDCGO Chilling Rain video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at the brand new Kecleon today. This card is really cool with that ability, Chroma Shift, allowing it to become the type that the basic energy you have on it is. So if you have a water energy on your Kecleon, Kecleon becomes a water type Pokemon. If you have a fire energy on it, it becomes a fire Pokemon and etc. And this is really quite powerful. Now, I have gotten a jillion requests to play this Kecleon Oxy times four weakness deck ever since kecleon released in chilling rain people have been asking for this deck and i have finally come around to building it the kecleon times four weakness deck of course having the ability to take knockouts on all, anything with times four is amazing and we can use spinning attack which can work with rapid strike and twin does 90 damage and of course with the twin energy on we can twin energy on it we also have the scroll of skies which makes it also a bit easier for playing against the deck uh, that the Pokemon would have a couple energy on it, we can go with a Rapid Strike Scroll of Skies times four or the Knockout um, over doing the Twin Energy, which means it's a bit easier to power up because we can pop a Coco on the Kecleon and then also just attach the energy we need to um, to match the type. And then also we have four Viridian to get the energy we always need. We have the Experience Share if we want to go with the Twin Energy Spinning Attack Route. And that is how we're going to make this deck work today. So for in the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin. Card Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set codes like Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, Storm Shield Base Set, Rebel Clash, get them over at Card Cabin. Or if you're looking for any of their sets or any other promo GX or V codes, pre-release kit codes, any PDCGO codes really at all, get them all over at Card Cabin. And if you get any codes over at Car Cabin, of course, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order to help the channel, help yourself out, and help out Car Cabin. So, big shout out to Car Cabin. Check them out. Use code LDF. Also, check out the video articles I've been posting. I just posted a brand new article on the Quad Blissey deck in Standard right now. So, let's look at the Kecleon list. This is what I'm playing here for the Kecleon deck. I'm almost playing every energy. I do not have Grass energy in the deck. Uh, the only Pokemon to watch out for is Moltres. However, there is a way you can actually beat Moltres. That is if you go Psy Power into a spinning attack on the Moltres. Moltres will have three energy on it, so spinning attack can actually hit for 160 damage. And if Moltres takes 60 damage from Aura Burn or from Mew Aura Burn, you can knock him out. So I actually don't think the Grass Energy is too needed, but you can sneak one in if you want, though I don't know what you would cut. This is actually a really talented space deck because we do have to play a lot of energy. Of course, we have all the energy types. We got two Dark Energy. I'm playing two Dark and two Fighting... Uh, just because I think those are the most relevant types. Dark, of course, for Shadow Rider and Trevnor and Gengar Mimikyu. Fine Energy for Pika and Eternatus VMAX. Um, Fairy for ADP, of course. You already know the deal. Now, I'm playing three Lightning. Obviously, there's no real big Lightning Pokemon. Uh, I guess Tornadus and Togekiss. But really, it's here because we can pop it with Coco. So that's why we are playing three Lightning instead of two. Uh, but you can cut, you go on two if you want. I mean, two Lightning with a Coco. It's not super reliable. It's probably like having three in the deck. Um, but you can cut a light energy, but the light energy is also super important for Scroll of Sky, so I feel like you kind of need three over two. Um, but if you want to play that extra energy, if you want to play another Psychic, you're scared of Urshifu, you can. Um, we do have the Rod just to get the energy back. It's not that big of a deal. And of course, the Times 4 weakness. If you have Uxie, Azul, and Mesprit in play, each of your Pokemon do Times 4. All the weaknesses are Times 4 instead of their usual, which means that Kecleon's attacks are going to be just one-shotting VMAX is super easily spinning attack. We'll do 90 times 4, which will KO anything pretty much. As long as you have that type match um, to hit them for weakness. Uh, so if you do spinning attack with the second energy on, on Inertia V Max, you one shot them for times four. Um, so that's the whole idea. And then also, Scroll of Skies can do like 70 times four, which is also really good. Um, I am playing Dedenne and Oricorio in the deck just for the extra draw support. And then we got the Coco in the deck. And I'm playing a lot of interesting supporters. As you can see, I got Bird Keeper as an extra switch. Three Bruno, of course, very good in this deck when you get knocked out. Two boss. Uh, now I'm playing a Guzmahala, which is cool because you can grab Guzmahala, get you Viridian, Twin Energy, and Scroll of Skies, or EXP Share. Uh, then we have Pionia. Now this is just here, if you do prize one of your energies, we can get it with Pionia. It's not the greatest way to get the energy, because we only play one of them, and it's honestly not that good of a card outside of using it to get the energy. Um, so we're going to play one of them. It's not super useful, but it is here to get the energy, because it allows you to get the energy off the prizes. So if you prize your Psych Energy against Urshifu, you can try to Pionia for it. Free research. I am also playing a Sonya. Really cool card in the deck. Sonya can get you two basics. You can grab two Lake Trio pieces if you can already attack in your hand. Or you can get two energy. So I think Sonya is a really cool card in this deck. So I'm playing one of these. I actually had two in the deck. But I cut it for a third Bruno. Uh, this deck can work really well with Level Ball. Because Level Ball works with Kecleon and all the Lake Trio cards. Um, that's the list. So uh, hopefully hit some people for weakness. Let's try it out. Okay, here we go. We're up against potentially Eternus VMAX. Now they could play weakness card. However, there have been quite a few Eternus lists nowadays not playing the weakness card energy. 
So we'll see. All right, we got the Kecleon. We got Uxi. Very solid start. We got, well, somehow no energy, but we got the Lake Trio right off the bat, which is awesome. You're playing against here. The turn to this. All right. Definitely a matchup that is a little scary, but if they don't have weakness card energy, we should be okay. And again, a lot of E turn list. Oh my God. Turn as well. Rip Viridian Forest. I think we have two fight energy in the deck, though. I do play two in the deck because it is good to have two because of how popular these dark Pokemon are. Yeah, it does suck. They got a turn one chaotic swell. Sucks quite a bit, actually. It's terrible. And they got the energy. Kecleon's a goner. Honestly, I think I'm going to level ball for a second Kecleon. We're just going to get bodied by the Dread NGX, which is just fun. Yes, sir. Maltrez, we need to prepare for it, too. Let's see, we draw. Energy. Well, yeah, we'll level ball for Kecleon. Oh, we prized two of our Kecleon. Nice. There we go. That's some good luck right there. Grab ourselves. Mesprit. Put that on the bench. Hmm. I mean, if we're going to do the grab drop, we can probably just put the fire engine on the active. And if they don't knock it out, we can potentially attack them next turn. No. We'll research. We should get energy off the prizes. Or off, our, off our research here. There's no way we're not going to get energy. Yeah, yeah, easy. There's a Viridian. That's good. We got the, got the Azelf too. It's going to be our last boss, though. That sucks. We might need it to KO the Moltres. Um... Patch pass. I mean, they probably just have boss E turn anyway, so I don't know. Our Kecleon on the bench probably won't even survive the turn. Uh, we'll see, though. Yeah, there's the VMAX. They probably have the boss and the energy in their hand to KO my Kecleon, so it really doesn't even matter if we bench it or not. Ooh, another stadium. Dark City. Oh, look at that. No boss. I was pretty sure they would have it, but that's good. We should actually be able to KO the E turn now as long as we don't whip the fight energy, which is great. All right, this isn't bad. The Moltres is a bit of a threat, though, especially because we prized two of our Kecleon, which is unfortunate. I don't like losing this other boss either, to be honest, but once we draw Bruno here, we'll see. That top deck would probably be... Viridian. We can grab Oricorio, so we're going to have to get Oricorio here. We'll see how this goes. This matchup might be tough, though, because we have to go through a three-prizer, then a two-prizer, and then another three-prizer, probably, so... I don't know if this matchup is that good, to be honest. We'll see, though. Especially with only having one Kecleon left in the deck to work with right now, it makes things hard. We should get the other Kecleon off the prizes, though, when we knock out their Eternus VMAX here. Not too bad. I'll try to get an EXP share on our Kecleon, too. We need to get that raw back. All right, promote this. We'll see what we draw here. Local Prism. I actually don't like that. I think we just got to research. We're going to have to research and go all in. Um... We have to get Oracorio here. Probably have to, we'll probably have to pop the uh, the Coco. I mean, we will get, we're going to need in this matchup. It's very important. All right, come on. We need a Fighting or Viridian. Got the Viridian. Okay. Got there. Go to the Fairy Energy. Yeah, both Fightings are in the deck. See, the problem is we also wanted to get a... Uh, we can get Rod. Okay, let's sort, let's change Tribute first. We can get a Light Energy. We can pop Coco maybe. That's annoying. They can attack me with Aura Burn next turn. So we are going to fall to the Moltres. We can grab drop them for a knockout, though. There's the big KO. All right, now let's see if we can finish this game off. I don't know if we will, especially because we're out of Kecleon now. But we'll see. We'll probably get to sack the lake, one of our lake trios here. Unless for some reason they boss my Oracorio. There's our Kecleon. All right, we got two off the prizes. We're chilling. Okay. We get two? We do. We got both. All right, Beautiful. We're probably going to get Marnied. There's no way we're not going to get Marnied here. Our hand is absolutely massive. Our hand is massive. We have to find a Grass Energy on the Moltres. There's none in the discard, so... We could also wait until they put a VMAX in play. Looks like they're going to go for a Golbat. All right, sure. The Crobat line is actually pretty interesting. I guess it does help you a little against Decidueye. Yeah, it's not... Yeah, the Crobat's not bad, I guess. It's a decent little tech card in the deck. Um... Best case scenario, they boss my Oracorio or my Uxi or my Coco. Worst case scenario, they Marnie knock me out. There's the worst case scenario. They get a path to peek and play. We're in trouble. I don't think they play it, though. Hopefully, they don't get another Chaotic Swell in play. I don't know. If, I mean, Chaotic Swell with the Dark City doesn't make much sense. I don't know why you would play both. So, hopefully, they don't have another Swell. We'll see. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's not the Chaotic Swell, I don't really care. That might be their last stadium, too. All right. Rip. 
Doesn't Kecleon does sting a little bit, but we got them both out of the deck. So. We know we have another Oxy in the deck, so. I mean, we know we have the Oxy. We kind of have the game Oxy here because we know we have another one in the deck. I don't know if we have another Hazel for Mesprit. Well, eh, that answers that. Uh, Bruno it is. We have the Bruno and try to get double Kecleon down. Try to maybe get an EXP share on both of them. Okay. Oh, all three are in the deck. Look at that. I'm going to Dance Tribute first. Okay. Don't think we need the Psychic Energy. So we'll grab the Kecleon. We can pop a Coco on it. We'll see if we get bossed here, too. I'm a little scared of my opponent having a boss's order in their hand. They probably do have a boss, so we have to get double Kecleon. And ditch the dark energy, I think. Yeah, nothing's weak to dark. This grass and stuff. Oh. No. There's no grass energy to deal with Maltrez. Uh-oh. We have to boss. We have to hope they bench the turns VMAX and boss it. That's a yikes. That might be hard to do, because we have no boss left. I actually think we just lose now, unless they somehow go into an Eternus VMAX and don't keep Moltres in the active. We don't have a good way to take out Moltres. There's no grass energy at all. We have no grass to work with. We have no way to take out Moltres in one hit. Oh, no. Well, okay, we can still grab drop them. If they keep taking damage with Aura Burn, actually, I think we can still KO them with the Scroll of Skies, right? Because that'll do 160 damage. They do one more. Okay, okay, we can knock them out that way. Nah, no, they do play Weakness Guard Energy. Damn it. They do actually play it. Um, That's annoying. They have another Moltres. That's not good. Yes, it's bad. It's better if we can take out two Eternus Maxes, but now it's a little hard. But now we can knock them out grab drop, so maybe we can chill out. Yeah, we can KO them with grab drop now. All right. That was a beautiful top deck. Let's do this first. See what we get. Double Raj, pretty nice. Um, we have to Guzma Hollow away some stuff here. I think we get rid of the Peonia. I don't, there's no grass energy, I'm pretty sure. So we just get rid of this. Get rid of the Lake Trios too, I guess. Get rid of Azulf. Grab ourselves Viridian. Roll Twin Energy. Yeah, we can kill the Moltres here. Yeah, we do it. But they get the Weakness Guard on something. Ugh, the Weakness Guard is so Not good. Not good. The Weakness Guard definitely stings quite a bit. If they didn't play Weakness Guard, I think we'd be fine. But the fact they do play it just sucks a lot. Not much I can do about it. We can go... Energy. We don't really need the XP share this Kecleon. Rod. We'll put back put back Kecleon. Put back we'll probably just put back both Kecleons to be honest. Yeah, we're not gonna yeah, that's fine. New rod animation, bro. Chill. Okay, we'll put that back. I'm not gonna put anything else back, just want the fighting back in the deck. Viridian, then we can rod them back if we need to. Get the fight energy out of the deck. Get this other Kecleon. Grab drop. That will KO them. Now the problem is, is are we going to be able to take out one last Pokemon because they have Venus Guard energy? I'm not sure we will. That's because if we don't have boss, we just can't do anything about it. So I think we're still going to lose the game because we just don't have any boss left in the deck to finish the game off. Um, Yeah, they just can't do anything. They actually play the weakness Guard. It's not like we can kill the Moltres anyways, so it doesn't really matter. They just need a boss to clear up the game. So I think we will lose the match here. If only we had a grass energy in the deck, maybe things could have been a little bit different. Yeah, they can't kill me with Aura Burn here. Um, I can't, there's nothing I can do. We just don't have any boss order left in the deck. Um, if we had boss, we could win by KOing Crobat this turn. We would win the game if we had boss. Like, if we had boss in our hand, we'd win the game. We're going to fall a little bit short to Eternus. I do think Eternus is fine, as long as they don't play the Weakness Guard, and as long as... I get, yeah, as long as they play Weakness Guard, because the turn is VMAX, pretty easy to KO in one hit with the grab drop combo. So we are going to lose here, unfortunately. A bit of a, bit of a, bit of a bad L. I don't think I can do anything else about... About it, right? They'd have to have a Zubat in play, and they'd have to go, like, have to go, like, double Psy Power to KO, and then hope they don't evolve it. That's, like, my only other win con. Right? I literally don't think I can do anything else. Well, okay. Maybe. If, by some miracle, they actually don't boss my Oracorio here, I guess we can kill the Moltres. 
Maybe. I mean, if they just have boss, they have boss. There's nothing I can just do about them having a boss, obviously. Uh, but I guess it is one way we can win, is they just don't have a boss's order. Um, get two-shot this. And they go Crobat, we can KO it with the Kecleon. Oh, maybe we can win this. We'll see. We have no way to... We can't... Yeah, there's no, no thing left. We have no... Uh, in the deck we have no uh we have no gram drops left available unfortunately okay so i guess we can win if they don't boss but if they don't boss we can win maybe or well they, they could have a if they have tool scrapper we also just lose tool scrapper would also tool scrapper would lose the game too obviously so they don't boss or jab their spot <laughs> so they haven't yeah it sucks Eternus, it's a fine matchup but just yeah not didn't go didn't go quite as planned all right here we go we've won the coin flip that's good we definitely need to go first with this deck to get that energy on the kecleon we'll see what we're playing against here all right our hand sucks all right great <laughs> we're all right not good not good all right we'll see what we can draw here hopefully it's a supporter or oopsie kecleon top deck maybe i don't know i guess okay we get to dene all right that's fine quick ball Kecleon. So we can play the Dedene. Now, mm, I don't like losing the XP share, though. I think I'm going to hold the hand for one turn. I'm going to put a Fire Energy on and hold the hand. I don't know what we're playing against. But we're about to speak to fighting. So I think right away we can put a Fire Energy on the Kecleon and say we're chilling. Because we don't know what we're playing against, right? Is it another Eternatus VMAX deck? It's another... Good look at that, bro. Glad I had the Fire Energy. It's another Eternatus VMAX deck. Um... We'll see if we can beat this one this time. Again, it's not the easiest matchup on the planet to beat because the Moltres, but maybe we can do something this time. <laughs> they go straight for the Moltres, no. But I guess this time we can actually not lose our boss's orders. That could be a big deal. This time we can actually not lose our boss's orders. Um, I wouldn't mind a Marnie. That Marnie me would actually be pretty, be would be pretty decent. Okay, uh, looks like they're gonna kill my uh, Uxie here. Okay, and a Marnie, that's fine. As long as we don't dead drop this. We could dead drop. We could drop a bunch of energy and then, like, just... Yeah, we're out of the game. We can actually kill the Crobat, though. If with the scroll, there is... Oh, hey, they're going for the Donk. That's perfectly fine, because we can knock them out in return. Um, Maybe. Well, okay. We can knock them out. We need to get the... We need Lake Trio. We might have to dig pretty hard with the Dene and stuff. We also need to find a Viridian. We gotta hope they also don't get a cheesy swell down. Is that new Crobat animation? Alright. Okay. No swell, which is good. That's an interesting turn one for my opponent. All right, what do we draw? Light energy, Viridian, no. Go Bruno and Prey. Okay. That was not the most amazing Brunos, I will admit. We, okay, we could just knock him out with spinning attack, actually. Yeah, yeah, I forgot we could just do that. All right. I have to lose our boss here, which does suck, but... Not much I can do. No, get back. Definitely get back. Let's see Azulf. Yeah, I forgot we can kill this finny attack. So it kind of sucks I have to waste this. But they're not going to be able to attack me next turn, actually. All right. Good stuff. Quick ball away this. Grab another Kecleon. So we're probably going to go Moltres. Well, if we can find another boss here. Maybe we actually should have just... We should, honestly should have held the hand there, to be honest. I regret not holding the hand. Um... Because we could just boss next turn. But I guess we, we can't bench the Lake Trios anyways. I don't know. This is fine. We can chill out for a few turns. We could even maybe just retreat the Kecleon, to be honest. Make him dig for a boss. We can two-shot the Eternatus, too. Okay, this is fine. Well, okay. No, they can knock me out. If they have another... If they go with another energy switch, I guess they can actually kill my Kecleon here. Yeah, I guess Kecleon still actually can get killed, actually, which is pretty problematic. Okay, they Marty me. That's fine. That hand was... I mean, we got another fighting, which is good, but... We'll see. Not gonna play the Viridian down just yet, obviously. We don't need to. No supporter off of that. Yikes. I just put energy on this guy. Alright, do they find the E-switch? Oh, they're digging. Oh my god, they fail three great balls. Okay, interesting. So they didn't get the VMAX off that. And they, they just need VMAX energy switch now. And if they don't find it, we can hit them pretty hard with spinning attack. Um, oh, they can see. 
I'll take it. All right, into another match. So we've lost to Eternatus, and then we beat Eternatus. So we're one and one on Eternatus VMAX. Where if something goes Psychic Deck, could be Shadow Rider. Um, but yeah, Shadow Rider falls pretty good, pretty good, pretty goodly, pretty badly to the Scroll of Skies because they have energy on them. Spin attack is good. So we'll see how we do against Shadow Rider. Um, you could play Fan of Waves in the deck if you want because the weakness card is, it's used in a few decks. Um, there's just not much you can do about ways your opponent can stop your thing. Ooh, this hand's actually not that great unless we can draw a Kecleon because we have the Dark and the Twin Energy in our hand. Um, but I'm not really trying to research them away, especially also because we lose a Rod. This is not ideal. We need to find a Kecleon. Yeah, it's Shadow Rider. We can beat Shadow Rider, but with this hand, it's not looking great. <laughs> not looking good. Shadow Rider is beatable, though. We could draw... Okay, if we draw a Quick Ball or Viridian, we can actually draw the energy back, which I'll probably end up doing if worse comes to worse. But I don't want to waste my EXP share. But again, I mean, Scroll of Skies is really good in this matchup, too. Just got to hope there's no Weakness Guard energy in the deck. I think that's going to be the big thing. Because I've seen some lists play Weakness Guard. Some lists do, some lists don't. Like the Eternatus, you know, it's 50-50. We drew the Kecleon. I'm going to slap a Twin Energy on it. I'll slap a twin energy on it. Seems good. Play this, I guess. Why not? Doesn't really matter, but I'll put that down now. And research. Good stuff. We have the knockout next turn. They are probably going to horror house me. We need to be prepared for that. I'm going to verting away a light energy. Uh, the dark energy out of the deck. Lake trios are all there. Okay. We did price one Viridian. Both the scrolls are there. All right. And all the twins are in the deck. All right, cool. Probably just hold the hand. We'll see. They, they're going to go Horror House, and they're probably going to boss me. So it's, it's a little sketchy. Um, We'll see, though. I can't. Like, there's, there's not much I can really do against Horror House, you know. I wish I could do anything, but yeah. They Horror House me. They Horror House me. I can't really do much about it. It's an overpowered attack for a reason. There's not much I can do about it. They boss my Kecleon, they boss my Kecleon. And then we can try to pop a Coco and go with the uh, Scroll of Skies knockout. That's going to have to be the play. They KO it, they KO it. I can't, again, I can't do anything about it. Maybe they won't Horror House? Nah. They could, I, I mean, they just knock out, if they knock out my Uxi, that's literally perfect. If they actually just kill my Uxie with Poltergeist, actually perfect. We'll see what they do. We also could boss their Shadow Rider and knock it out, which wouldn't be bad either. We'll see. Well, they got, they got the, but they don't, the, they don't the alternate under Gengar, but they got the bling, they got the, they got the altar, they got the altar Shadow Riders. I will complete my Shadow Rider altar set eventually, guys, but very expensive, and they will go down in price. It is not a very good financial decision to waste packs on a card that will eventually fall in price. I mean, they could also just boss me this turn too, which would be pretty bad. You know, there's a Mar Shadow too. They get rid of my Viridian, which is fine. The fact they still have Horror House is definitely a little terrifying, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah, they're going to go for it. Okay. We do draw an extra card, though, which is actually good. And that's a Kecleon. That's not bad. That does make our lives a whole lot easier. Now, they are probably going to have a boss this turn. So our Kecleon, unfortunately, is going to get knocked out here by the Poltergeist. Um, we have to try to pop off with the Coco. So if they didn't Horror House me, we had Guzma Hollow for U-Turn Board. We actually could have just went for the knockout, but we'll have to see if they don't boss. There's no way. Their hand, they definitely have a boss this turn. If they don't have a boss, I'm going to retire. I'm going to retire if they don't have a boss. Told you. Not the end of the world, though. It is annoying for sure, for sure, but whatever. Can't do much about it. <laughs> All right, so we will try to attack them this turn. If all goes well. Quick ball. Go Oracorio. I think I'd rather go Oracorio over anything else. We'll dance tribute first. Okay. No Coco play. No Coco play. You'll do this. Bench Kecleon. Well, Guzman Hala. Got the XP here. We'll put the XP here on the other Kecleon. So no matter what, we'll have a Dark Energy play next turn. 
Do what they do. They probably have another boss. They actually might kill my Oracorio GX here. Um, so we'll see. I am tempted just to kill the Shadow Rider. We should just win in two attacks, though, if all goes well. Um, but again, I think we can still pull through. I think we can still pull through. We'll see, though. They... Honestly, maybe I should have just played the Viridian. I don't want to get rid of another boss. I don't want to have no boss in this game. So I wanted to keep the boss. I could have maybe Viridian, though, to actually play around them bossing my Oracorio. I probably should have done that, in all honesty. But they can always kill Oracorio with Max Guy, so it probably doesn't even matter. Um, let's see what they got. We still have to find the uh, Lake Trio, though, next turn. So yeah, them killing Oracorio is actually really bad. They're probably going to boss. There's no way they don't have another boss in their hand, right? Their hand's massive. There's no way they don't have another boss. I'm going to reverse psychology here for a sec. There's no way they don't have another boss in my Oracorio here. And they don't have a boss. I'm going to retire. Okay, the ore energy, that's fine. They're gonna Marnie me. Okay, that's fine. This hand was... Eh, that wasn't bad. We, we can find Bruno now, which is huge. Maybe a Lake Trail piece. Yeah, there we go. We got another dark energy. We could try to pop Coco this turn. Might be a little risky, though. We should be able to find something off the Bruno anyways, to, if we don't find it. Because we can always go with the Grab Drop Prey. We'll see what happens. This is pretty good, though. That was a good Marnie. That, that's way better than them bossing me here. This is perfect. Unless they put a Path of Peak in play. Are they still Viridian? Okay, they're going to have the Shadow Rider route. Okay. Doesn't really make a difference what they do, I guess. Our bench has to be the Lake Trio. Nothing else. So, Bruno. You need to find the Lake Trios. Only got one there. Uh oh. We also didn't get the twin or scroll of skies. Yikes. That is a little risky, not gonna lie, because we might not draw the other piece, but I don't have much of a choice. That was a yeah, that was not a great Bruno. We need to find we need to get it here. Come on, Prince Tribute, come in clutch. Let's go. No way to get the twin energy though. Bruh. So we aren't going to get another knockout because we didn't find twin energy. No, we can still... Never mind, we can still pop Coco. Hold on a minute. Nah, nah, we're chilling, we're chilling. Yeah, we can still pop the Coco, I guess. That's, that works, okay. I got scared for a sec. This is why the Coco is so good in this deck. Because look at it. We can build up Kecleon without finding twin energy. It's huge. Um, here. I'll bench you. I'll bench you. So, Kecleon. All right, yeah, that's huge. Okay, all right. This should just be game over then, right? We'll see. They can't really kill me with this other Shadow Rider. I guess they might have, like, a Necrozma V in the deck or something. I don't know. Let's see what we got off the prizes here. Sonya and Energy. All right. Yeah, I forgot we had the Coco play there. I got worried. I saw that we didn't pull the uh, the Twin Energy there. I was like, oh, rip. We also didn't get the scroll. But it still works out because we can pop the Coco. So, yeah, that is how good the Coco is. I, I, miss, I misstepped there, but... As long as they don't, like, stamp me into a bad hand... Well, even then, we have Oracorio still. We still have the Kecleon. So they don't deal with the Kecleon, the game's over. They could boss... They could boss Yuxi, actually, and knock it out. That would be pretty bad. Then we have to find our Ornate Rod and a Level Ball or Quick Ball, which we still have a decent amount of. So we'll see what they end up doing this turn. We'll see. That's game. That's game over. There we go. We beat my opponent's Shadow Rider Calyx deck. A matchup I think is good. Yes, the Horror House was definitely a problem early on. Gave my opponent that free turn. At the end of the day, though, we still managed to come out on top with a victory. Royale here over the Shadow Rider deck. Boom, there we go. 360 damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go, Kecleon. The man is a beast. He's a beast. Beast. Let's see if those last things go well. Yeah, we're chilling. Okay. Tails. Now, we definitely want to be going first this deck. So going second is not great. So we're playing against here, though. Ooh. Not a bad start. We're not going first. We'll start with Mesprit. Maybe we can first contact. Yeah, we're not going first. We'll probably just... Dene. If we can draw another Kecleon, we can get double... We can get two Kecleons and the XP on it. Okay, we're playing against another Shadow Rider deck. Okay, so we're playing against Shadow Rider again. We're playing against two Shadow Riders and two Eternities in this video. That's how it's going to be. Uh, okay, it's not bad. Ooh, Alchemy. Okay, they're going to mix up the typing a little bit, actually, which is interesting. No, Alchemy might be a bit harder to KO. We might actually need to KO it with the spinning attack instead of the uh, scroll, which might make things hard. Now, I am still worried about Gengar Mimikyu kind of coming out of nowhere and ruining my day. 
but I don't think we have to worry about that because it looks like they're committed to the Alchemy, and I don't even know if they play Gengar Mimikyu. I have not even looked at this Alchemy deck, so I have no idea if they played or not. Um, we have Bruno, so I just chill in here. Hmm. I don't think they're gonna boss me next turn, so we're gonna quick ball another Kecleon. I could use Mahala here and grab a uh, Viridian. And I can Viridian. No, it's a little late for that now. I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to hold the XP share. We didn't get a base energy in place, so there's really no point in playing it. We're going to hope they don't boss my Kecleon here. No, oh, Dene. Uh oh. They're going to boss me, aren't they? They're not. Yeah. Boss's order, bro. So broken. Don't boss me, please. Let my Cacleon live. What did he ever do to you? Hopefully they just go for a dormant. If they had dormant here, um We can KO them if they had dormant, right? Yeah, we can KO them if they do a dormant. Because we can go well as long as they don't prize U-turn board or metal energy. Or they also don't cheese me with a boss. But we can KO them with a the, uh, spinning attack here if they go a dormant. If we don't prize the other pieces. Also they don't boss. Marnie. Okay, well, we lose our door. We lose the boss KO or the KO on the Alchemy for the time being, anyways. We could still drop this. Research. Nice. We can check if uh, what's his face is in the deck or not. We could check if uh, Metal Energy is in the deck. See, if we actually got to keep that hand, we would have had a KO there, assuming, assuming they don't have, assuming we had everything in the deck, obviously. Well, better than a boss's order, though. Better than them playing a boss's order, which is awesome. We'll see how this goes. Okay. So we can check the deck. We can still KO them. We can still research into the U-turn board and mental energy. It's still possible. We could even draw Bird Keeper here and Bird Keeper into a metal energy out too. That's why I'm playing the Bird Keeper. That pivot card's good. Though I might, maybe I should cut the Bird Keeper. Honestly, I would love to play a double U-turn board um, in the deck. Okay. U-turn's in there. Metal's in there. So we would have had the KO. Okay. We can still go for it though. And now the deck, I guess, by one card we don't care for, aka Mew. Research. Can we get the KO? No. Okay. Play another Twin Energy, I guess. Fine. We're chilling. Actually, well, next turn I can just boss kill the uh, Shadow Rider, which I might do. I don't know. I kind of like killing the Alchemy, though, because it might be a bit harder to knock out. I might just go for it right away. We can uh, Goose Mahala for Viridian. If they put a Path or Swell in play, I guess then we'll Goose Mahala. Or just knock out the Active. Or no, we'll boss the Shadow Rider and then save the Alchemy for a rainy day. This is a good turn. We got double Kecleon powered up, which is pretty good. Let's we'll see if they do. They probably have a boss this turn. They could boss my Ooxie. I don't have any more left in the deck. That could be pretty bad. They do that, that would suck. Then we don't have any, uh, we can't boss KO them. They're gonna Marnie me again. Okay, sure. That's fine. As long as they don't dead draw. It's not a boss, though. Got Sonya. Okay, we got him. Okay, they do have Ganker Mimikyu. They could Horror House me this turn, actually. Are they gonna Horror House me? No, okay, they're building up. Okay, never mind. Horror House would be a little problematic, but I mean. Whatever. Okay. We got Sonya. We can just Sonya for Metal Energy and knock him out. And Quick Ball. Oh, they're going to have the Shadow. So what is... Okay, that's fine. We'll kill the Shadow Rider. That's fine. Okay, cool. We need to make sure the other Mesprit's not prized. What do we draw? Pretty and perfect top deck. We can actually do this. We can actually use an energy as Cannon Fodder for Quick Ball and Sonya. That's actually so cool. Uh, so we'll do this. Do this. Do this. Grab Dark. Oreo is not in the deck. So we have to Dedenne. That's fine. Oh, no. No, our other Mesprit is prized. Oh, no. We did prize the Mesprit. Uh-oh. Crap. That's not good. We can still probably find it. We can Dedenne. Maybe. Please don't whip the Mesprit off this Dedenne. You just need Rod and a Ball Searching card. Ah, oh, we didn't get it. 
damn, that's so, that's, uh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. That's unfortunate. I'm kind of upset he's spaghetti. There's no knockout on board, right? We can't kill anything with boss here. Nope. Shadow Rider, Calyrex doesn't get killed by boss. We could Bird Keeper retreat, I guess. Sure. Dang it! Still no, uh, no order rod. Damn, that sucks. That was a pretty bad fumble. Didn't get a Bruno or anything for next turn either. Man, this that sucks. That sucks a lot. Oh, just let him kill the Kecleon. Dang, bro. No, oh, man. The whiff. The whiff. They're probably going to boss one of them. They're probably going to boss Oxy now. Maybe we should just attack them, to be honest. We can still two-shot them. Yeah, we should have just attacked. Dang, this is, a, this is like a perfect game, too. It sucks we had to prize Mesprit. And it sucks we didn't find Rod. We also have no cards in hand for next turn to actually go with another Mesprit play, which is also pretty annoying. This is not looking good. Especially because they are probably going to boss me this turn. Well, maybe. They oh, still have energy. I'm hoping they wouldn't have any more energy to boss. They're probably going to get a boss. They haven't played one yet. This sucks, man. We also didn't get a supporter, which also sucks. We got already Rod. We're still back in the game. We can still take the Kecleon, but now we're going to lose our... You know, maybe we should have retreated the Kecleon, actually, but we can get double Kecleon, though, and play. It's not a big deal. Yeah, there's the boss. They're actually going to target the Dene. Okay, that's fine. That's actually perfectly fine. We still need to draw something here if we're going to stay in the game, but we'll see. Bruno, Rod, please. I probably should have level balled the thin of the deck, too. This sucks, man. But what we could do, we can boss KO the Denene, which is not an ideal play, but it does get us prizes, so we'll have to do it. We'll have to boss KO the Denene here. I think we always promote this guy because EXP share. Research. Okay, we can get the Mestre back now. But I don't know if we will jump. I kind of, honestly, I, I'm fine with just going for the boss and the Dene. They knock me out. We knock them out. I like doing boss here. I actually do like doing boss on Dene. We don't need the Mesprit. They might boss another Lake Trio. Uh, but we could whiff the Mesprit off of this research. And we have no boss left after that. I don't know. Maybe I do just go for it. We have one level ball in the deck. No, I think we just knock out the uh, Dedenne here. Yeah. We just knock out the Dedenne, I think. We, we're still on part of winning the game, I think. Like, I'm pretty sure we still are. Grab Tapu Coco, too. No, I don't want to play the quick ball. We could get messed with the prizes. Okay, we'll get rid of their training court. I gotta play training court. I don't think we need to. Let's keep thinning the deck out. Guess they tool scrap me or grab dark energy. I'm gonna hold the hand. I could have went Coco. I don't think I have to. I'll wait to do Coco. Okay, can we get Mesprit? Nope. Let's go. Okay. We're still on part of winning. They go knockout. We go knockout. They go knockout. We go knockout. I don't have a close. It's going to be a very close game. They could still KO my Uxie. Right? They could still KO my Uxie here, which would suck. Would suck butt. Let's say bench another, like, easy knockout. They bench on, like, they bench on, they bench on Alchemy. We can, like, Viridian Metal Energy. They have no energy. That's why I bumped the stadium. Let's go! Okay, this is huge. This is really good now. All right. Now I think we're on part of winning the game. Yeah, I think we're chilling now. I think we're chilling. This is pretty good. So we promote the Kecleon. We draw... Perfect. So put... Roll... I mean, if they play Tool Scrapper, they play Tool Scrapper. But I think we'll be fine. We'll be pretty far ahead. Uh... Bench the Mesprit. I'm just going to hold the hand and knock him out, right? Because we have the boss. Oh, I do want to pop Coco. 
I do want to pop Coco here, get the extra energy in play. Yeah, so we should pop Coco first. Now. Yeah, yeah, we should pop. We should always, always should pop Coco here. Put on Azel, because we have two in the deck. Because if they do boss, they might kill one of my times four guys. That is an Azel, because we have two, so it's fine. But they go, they might go Alchemy next turn, but they're out of energy. We can always one-shot Alchemy, but we can't one-shot it. We can, we still have the twin. Okay, that's fine. We can still research and actually get away with this. It's fine. We can actually still lose our boss. We have Metal Energy in the deck. Yeah, see? Plus, I want to dig a little bit. I want to make sure we get, um, I want to still make sure we're getting a, uh, Still digging for the rod and stuff, especially the KO on my Lake Trio. Something we had is dig there. Okay, so we'll take the KO, and if, like they might not even go, they might not go out for me. They they're out of energy. They have to go Shadow Rider. So we'll see. Or Corio is an amazing prize. Okay. What else? Nice. So if they, we could get stamp the one still, I guess. Stamp one boss Lake Trio would actually probably lose the game, unless we draw a supporter. We still have all of our Brunos. We just can't thin out as many things as I like. That's why I keep verting away energy. Okay, they are going with the Alchemy VMAX play, which is fine because we have Metal Energy in our hand. We still have Viridian in play. We could have Viridian away the Metal Energy because if they play Training Core, we could get it back. But no. All right, that's game. They're just going to GMAX with me here. They are not going to kill any of my Aura Cori or my Lake Trail pieces, or they don't have a Marnie or Stamp. So that will end the game off with this match against Shadow Rider. A very close game. Due to prizing one of the most important cards in the deck, it made things a little awkward, but... That is game over with a spinning attack for the victory. Times for weakness Kecleon beats a Shadow Rider deck twice in a row. And it beats a Turnus, lose to a Turnus. But that'll be it for the big guys on this Kecleon Times 4 Weakness deck. Really fun deck to play. I'm not sure how good it actually is in terms of playability, but it's a lot of fun to play the deck. Hitting for weaknesses is always pretty cool. We can accumulate the matchups. We got I gotta finish that daily challenge. Get a free pack, bro. Why not? Actually, speaking of free packs, I did. Get a few packs to open up here before we end off the video. Speaking of packs, guys, there will be a pack opening this Sunday. Um, so keep your eye out on the channel for a big pack opening video. So let's open up the Chilling Rain packs. I have a Rebel Clash pack and each three Chilling Rain packs I can open up here from the ladder. But that'll be it for the video on the on the uh, Kecleon Times for Weakness deck. You guys asked, and I have given you it. And there we go. Got a Zero Aura. Looking, still need to get Shadow Rider. I've opened up a ton of packs. No Shadow Riders. Again, the deck's pretty cool, though. Maybe try to sneak a Grass Energy in. Ooh, back to back. All right, Slow King. I mean, sure. Whatever. It's it's a, it's a hit. It's a hit. All right, what are we looking at here? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, three in a row. We got a Full Art Celebi. Not bad at all. Versus all Ghastly. All right, cool beans. We got a Rebel Clash pack to open up here. Uh, but yeah, big pack of new video coming out. Can we go four for four? That'd be awesome. Four for four would be great. Get an Intellion VMAX. Boss's Order Full Art would be fantastic. Four for four? Anyways, time for Kekleon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, help me in the road to reaching 18,000 subs. Thank you guys for all the growth on the channel, most support on the content. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys on another video. Uh, probably swap the Bird Keeper for a YouTube board. Yeah, bye-bye.